I am a moth, and I am not a moth. I am just a moth, and I know I flew into your room. The radiance of your face was a part of the attraction. For to light I am drawn, though light be my death. You may think that my invasion of your private space was clumsy, unwanted, and may be quite rude. For though I might be found upon marshland, meadows, and dunes, in your garden, and even upon mountain tops, would you please take some pity on me? For you've cut down my woodland, removed all your hedges, paved over your gardens, destroyed most of my homes. Then you chased me and sprayed me with your nasty pesticide, set your light traps. So I came into your home. I just needed somewhere to hide. So I let you decide, would you want to keep me? You might think I am simple, but the mind of an insect is more complex. For I may hear the squeak of a bat and drop like a stone. I may even squeak like a bat. Now how about that, to leave them confused? I know that my friend Devil's Hawk might try to deceive you, my queen. Come into your hive and try to steal your honey. But I would never do anything like that. What is dear to you might also be dear to me. Then there is my friend the jester. He disguises himself and is quite funny. As a humble bumble tumbled and fumble bee. But when I came into your home, it was never in jest. I promise you that. And I'm not a gnat, a bat, a cat, or a rat. I'm just the little moth that you see. Sometimes I admit I might appear in the form of a honey hummingbird moth seeking your nectar. Now I won't deny that. I can fly oh so high. I might come from some far off African land, or maybe from Spain or from Greece or even England's green pastures. You caught me with your hands. Be ever so careful, please. But I have a hook to join my wings. I'm not a flutterby. That scale on my wings might just be for you. I call it my love dust, and it really has magical powers. I want to give some of that magic to you. So let me say more of myself. I do feed upon nectar, and I'd love to feed upon yours. I may bring pollen to make the seed which will grow, making the flowers that you love. I said I like light, but I also like scent, which is also why I came to your room. Your pheromone is strong. I knew you when five miles away. The closer I get, the more I'm attracted, until I saying came so close I could not resist. You caught me, but then turned me out. I was so sad. I know this is cheeky, but we are often misunderstood. When you open your closet and examine your clothes, I admit, I do have a fetish for wool, but I won't eat your cotton. Your undies are quite safe snuggled next to me. I do worry a little for my friend Cinnabar, has wings as bright as red roses, though he is quite bitter to taste. And I wonder, are real roses like that too? If you take me, treat me with care. I might just melt in your hand. Or would you like that the other way around? My antennae are extended, so hope is expected. I have said my piece and come to an end, except I really just hope you will swoon next time I fly into your room.